hi everyone i am prashant and today's video is all about how we can uh, make a offline installation for visual studio 2017 so uh, let's go to web and search for this documentation and we are getting this documentation which tells us how we can create a offline installer for visual studio so let's start by downloading this vs enterprise.exe so now that this file has been installed let's go over here press f2 now what i am going to do is i am going to go in my command prompt and i'm simply going to copy paste this location and op open it over here correct so once i have got this uh, location there are certain commands that i can use so the first command that i need to use is layout so layout is just defines the file where you want to store your visual studio offline files so what i have done is i have created a destination for this also i need to specify the language in which i need to download this file right so i have specified the location and the language that is going to be en us after that if i hit enter it will start downloading all the files but in this case it will be downloading all the packages available so like uh, for visual studio they have got like 35 or 40 gb of uh, packages so that is going to take a lot of time and like uh, most uh, mostly like all of those will not be required by us, by us so what i am going to do is i am just going to download their basic core editor package so for installing that core editor package what i need to do is i need to define a parameter hyphen hyphen add Microsoft dot Visual Studio dot workload dot core editor. So what this is going to do is just like it is going to call this exe with these parameters and it will create a cache first in my local after that it will start downloading the files into my provided layout directory so as soon as i click enter it is done creating the cache now it is down fetching my files so at this point of time it is not downloading anything it is just fetching your files and as soon as this work is done so it will start downloading in visual studio uh, like uh, command prompt so what benefit we have is like uh, we, uh, it can start running in the background with, without asking anything and like uh, we can continue doing our work and it is also going to consume less resources as like we are not using the ui so here we can say um, a bunch of commands that it is executing it is start downloaded uh, layout progress is showing it's going on it's going on so depending on the internet speed this will keep on going on so this speed is much faster because since like i am using this core editor package only to download so once this package will be downloaded so i will be able to see those package in my visual studio layout folder which i have provided so let's wait for a while so in the meanwhile let me show you some important tips that we can use 
so what we have got is if you go in there page what we have do is like we have got got the certain workload packages managed for every uh, like application like w if you want to install anything then you can use it from here so so there is one very important notice written over here which i already told you like visual studio 2017 layout requires at least 35 gb of disk space and can't take long time to download so you should be careful before doing that work so over here you can use these commands to Uh, like uh, download your files so these are like the supported languages and all that stuff that you require for your command to function so let's see how much the download has progressed so it's like 97.97 percent our download is complete setup completed successfully please and press any key to continue so as soon as I see this, what I can do is in my folder if I go and see I have got multiple files over here and I can also see that I have got this Visual Studio setup file with me. So if now I start running this installer file then I can continue with installation of my Visual Studio so this is how like we can use visual studio to download it offline and run it so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and subscribe this video thanks for watching the video